The dream of the next doc is alive. The dream that I'm talking about is the dream to use your phone as your computer. I've covered a few Next Docs on Short Circuit and LTT over the years, and they have a new one now. It's the Next Doc XL. If you're unaware, the Next Doc is a laptop, like bare bones kit. There's no computer in here per se. You're supposed to connect your phone or anything else that has HDMI output and use it as a monitor slash keyboard, trackpad, touchscreen. So we're gonna get all into that. First, I wanna see what's in the box here. So you got your charging and connection guide. They're still making things with mini HDMI? I actually didn't know that, but you get a HDMI to mini HDMI cord that looks about, what, three feet, four feet? There is a, ooh, like a flat USB type C to C, and it has 20 gigabits per second printed on it. You've also got a longer USB-C to C. This is a 45 watt power adapter to charge the 49 watt hour battery inside the laptop itself. And then you also have a region adapter for, I think this is Europe, he, right here. I'm holding Europe in my hands. And Korea, they also like regulation. I like the brushed metal finish on here. Bit fingerprinty but I also have hair product on my hands, which is just something to keep in mind. <laughs> um, we might as well look at the ports while we're here though. On this side, we've got the power button, a micro SD card slot and a USB-A port and a headphone jack. On the other side, we've got two USB-C ports and the mini HDMI port. Now that one is used for display in obviously. Oh, I should also say you don't need to use the wired connection. Uh, to control the keyboard and trackpad because this also supports wireless like the last version. Okay, well, let's open her up. I'm, I'm actually excited. Ooh, yeah, it's very stiff hinge. Wow, that is a completely different layout. Keyboard on the left, trackpad on the right. You either like it or you don't. I think that it's okay. First questions, okay? My biggest complaints about the last next doc were the keyboard flex. Ooh, ooh, next doc, you listen to me. Ooh, I feel so heard. Thank you. <laughs> Clickiness of the keys, very nice. Tactile bump. Up here, I believe, is a wireless charging pad for your phone, which is why you need this magnetic uh, circle. Ooh, yeah, it's, cause like, that's where I put it. Okay, let's see if I just eyeballed it. Is that, will it do it? Okay, so you could just eyeball it and it seems like it'll charge. Nice. Okay, let's complete the hardware tour here. Just like last time, it's got a nice, you know, sturdy hinge. It'll stay pretty much at whatever angle you want. There's a little bit of wobble to it. And yeah, you can go all the way around and use it like that if you want. Okay, we're gonna plug something in and we're gonna see if the phone as a PC dream lives on after this message from our sponsor. But sometimes you need a little bit more than just a laptop to get your real work done. That's why I have made the brand new and super versatile LTT laptop bag. It features a padded micro suede laptop holder, which just feels so soft and also has loads of pockets and loops designed specifically for your charger, your mouse, and all of your other accessories, adapters, and cables. This is all in a bag that's not much bigger than a sleeve or smaller than many that I have seen. It even comes with detachable shoulder and luggage straps that you can easily tuck away. Check it out now on lttstore.com. So like I said before, you can connect pretty much anything with a display out to this machine, a phone, another Windows device if you want a second monitor, some of these new gaming handhelds so you have a bigger screen for your Steam Deck or your Windows-based handheld or whatever. But for today's video, I'm gonna use a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. You can use a USB-C cable. You can connect wirelessly via Miracast, I believe it is, and then Bluetooth for the touchpad and the keyboard. And you can also swipe down here with two fingers to show settings. Nice. And there's the display information right there. We're running a 1080p display at 60 hertz. I believe 60 hertz is only going to be over wired and wireless is gonna be 30. I'm gonna do wireless first. All right, so wireless display. But I can use a touchpad on the phone. Yeah. Okay, we're in. The trackpad is working. It is very choppy, but you know, this is why I wanna do wireless first. Most of the time, if you have your phone right here, you might as well plug it in. But I guess they're like, you know, maybe if, you're, if, you're, if your cable's being buggy or something, there's always the option to use wireless as a fallback. I can't see the freaking cursor. Jeez, that's annoying. I can already give my verdict on the trackpad. The wireless connection for the trackpad is 
not usable. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, NextDoc. I wonder if it's any better if I use the phone as a, as a touchpad. Samsung should have thought about this, that I have sticky fingers. I'm constantly stealing things. Nobody said that the phone as a PC thing would be great, okay? Let's get wired, dude. <laughs> yes, yes, and ooh, oh. That mouse feels so much better. Honestly, if the background, if the default background wasn't like super dark, I wouldn't be so frustrated right now. But I literally, when the cursor is over here, I literally just, the cursor is right here right now. You can't see it. So there's stuff, there's there's cursor settings in, in the Samsung settings, but not for DeX. This is not a video about DeX. <laughs> Regardless of my frustrations with like DeX and the kind of just ease of use things that they still have to add, the touchpad is, Leagues better than the last one. There was a big problem with ghost touches, maybe because it's over on the right side now. So maybe that was a big reason why they moved it over. I don't know. Regardless, that problem is uh, largely fixed. Keyboard is very responsive. And I honestly like this keyboard. It's clicky, it's tactile, it's responsive. What else do you want? And it doesn't flex. You know, it, it again, it says nothing about next doc, but it says something about this dream that I'm still, I still believe in. There was another ghost touch. There was another ghost touch. The ghost touches are still there. Please upgrade the trackpad. Please, 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 please. I am like a believer. I wanna go and plug my phone into a laptop and use it as my computer. There will be a previous, there will be a video sometime in the future where we make this work by sheer force of will. There's a, there's a shortcut to go to the multitasking menu, but I, I I, they were, the shortcuts were bad, so I didn't remember what they were. Um, maybe it freaked out because I, I, you know, switched the audio output. Uh, what is this? Where are we? What? That's an ad? I go to YouTube, I search Crab Rave, I get, this is an ad. And then the search results, and then another huge ad. <laughs> All right, we're back. We're back. Show me what you got, please. Yep, turning it up and down on the phone affects the volume on the next dock. Okay, all right. Based on my very subjective uh, analysis, comparing that to my memory of how it sounded <laughs> the last time, I remember saying last time that the speakers were not good. My immediate reaction to these is not that they're not good. They're not great, but they're fine. They sound like more powerful phone speakers, maybe. You know, you're not gonna be like powering a house party with with the vibes, with the, with the with the jams coming from your lap dock accessory. Okay. So, like I said, it's a 1080p display. Uh, it's running at 60 hertz over the wired connection, according to Next Dock. It only gets up to 300 nits. So I find myself in a similar situation uh, with the Next Dock XL here that I was uh, with the Next Dock Wireless and the model before that, which is that it's still cool, it's still inspiring, it's still something that I want deep inside myself. That came out wrong. <laughs> this is a imperfect way to realize this dream. It is encouraging to see the changes that NextDoc has made, particularly to the keyboard. It's less flexy, it's, it's uh, tactile, it's nice to type on. Ghosting issue is still there. Sometimes you move the, the cursor around and then you accidentally touch it and it just jumps to the other side of the, of the screen. I also didn't say in the beginning of the video that it feels heftier. It feels less like kind of just a plastic shell and more like there's something in there, uh, which is the battery, which is another unfortunate aspect of this. They quoted at seven plus hours of battery life, which is disappointing. There's no computer in here to suck battery life. So I'm not sure what's what's going on there. It's only a 49 watt hour battery. So next doc, please upgrade the touchpad model, put a bigger battery in there. Normal next doc wireless 13 inch version is $300. This one is 329. 330. All in all, it's nice to see them drop the price a little bit and make it a little bit more affordable. Make that argument for getting one of these and using your phone or another device instead of like a Chromebook a bit more compelling. Please keep going next, Doc. Please, early adopters, enthusiasts, if you're into this dream as I am, pick one up, tinker around. Everyone else should probably not buy this. <laughs> but it's for, it's for the faithful. We can do this. We can do this together. And you 
can subscribe to Short Circuit for more videos like this one. If you're interested in watching another video, uh, which I think you are, uh, watch my last Next Doc video.